I've got nothing to add to what I told you last night. The lookalike, yeah? Sounds unlikely, Grant, yeah. It's not a likely story, it's a lookalike story. But every word of it's true. Except you've not told me every word of it, have you? How do you know her? I don't. Well, you know her name. I know your name. Right, she set me up. She lured me into a trap. Right, so she tells you not to go for a cleaning job so that she can pretend to be you and get the cleaning job herself. I should never have fallen for it. After which, she steals a top from you, robs the jewellers, assuming you'll take the blame. It's a perfect crime. But yet, you don't know her full name or how we might find her. That's your job? In other words, you can't prove she exists. Well, why should I have to? Because if you don't, you're going to jail. OK. I've been told you've got some new information. Right, I've decided to tell the truth. The whole truth, nothing but the truth. Ooh, I can't wait. I've got yet a surname and a phone number. For the woman who dressed up as you? Well, I did have a copy of a driving licence, but I gave it back to her. Why did you have a copy of a driving licence and why is it taking you so long to remember? Because I'm not completely innocent myself. But it was all part of her plan. Ooh, now you've got me by the hook. Right, she was going to the races, or so she said. This was a few weeks ago. And she gave me 200 quid to sit a speed awareness course. Because of the resemblance? You took a measly 200 quid to pervert the court of justice. Well, I'd just been fired from my last cleaning job and our Gemma was relying on the money. The daughter with all the kids. Well, you try making ends meet this year with eight mouths to feed. And before you say anything, that's not why I robbed the jeweller's shop. I might be daft. I'm not stupid. No, don't put yourself down. You're plenty stupid. Well, it might be measly to you, but we were desperate. Now, surely, if I'm admitting this, you know I'm on the level. Oh, yeah, trust everything you say from now on. She knew exactly how to reel me in. You're confessing to what you consider to be a lesser crime in the hope that we might go easy on you. Hey, you're getting good at this. Right, if I can help you find her, that's got to stand for something, hasn't it? She's done it before. She'll do it again. If she can find another mug. Her number's in my phone. Now, wait a minute. Might have an address for her as well. If we've still got the packaging. Maybe you're the one setting her up. That's ridiculous. Why would I? Maybe it was your plan all along. Back, are you? So come on then, let's hear it. What? Your apology for not believing me. Take it you found her. Fern? Unfortunately not. Right, I gave you a name and a phone number. Surely you can find out her address and pedal your toy police car around there. Have I got to do that for you as well? Oh, no, we tried the number. It was out of service. You what? But then you knew that, didn't you? Right, you listen to me. No, you listen to me. You've been leading us in the merry little dance since the moment you got here. Well, not anymore. Right, if I did rob this jewellers, what have I done with all the precious gems? I don't know. If you've got any sense, you'll hand them in and hope the judge gives you a lighter sentence. Until then, I'm releasing you pending further inquiries. You let me go? For now. If I were you, I wouldn't go start any box sets for the foreseeable. <laughs>